Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Zygmunt Talas and Karl Wolbrot. This game was played in Nuremberg in 1894. Talas had white pieces and he started with e4. Karl Wolbrot played e5. Knight to f3, attacking the pawn on e5, but now knight to f6, the Russian defense. Knight takes on e5, d6, knight to f3, knight takes on e4, d4, d5, bishop to d3, knight to c6, castling, bishop to e7, rook to e1. This is a very popular line, black to move. Knight to f6 was played. Bishop to g4 is the most played move nowadays. Walbrot played knight to f6. Bishop to f4, castling c3. Bishop to d6, offering to trade bishops. Knight to e5, rook to e8. Knight to d2, knight to g4. Knight from d to f3. Knight from c takes on e5. And Tarash recaptured with the pawn, the best move. Bishop to c5. Bishop to g3. Knight to h6 was played. Queen to c2, threatening bishop takes on h7. White is standing better. g6, defending h7 pawn, but creating weaknesses on the dark squares. How relevant is that? Bishop to f4, attacking the knight, knight to f5. King to h1, perhaps planning f4 at some stage. c6, queen to d2. Bishop to e6, knight to d4, queen to d7. Bishop to g5. Ideally, white would love to play. Bishop to f6, queen to h6, queen to g7, checkmate. Bishop to f8, queen to f4, knight to g7, queen to h4, a6, rook to e3, intending rook to h3. After eliminating the bishop on e6, c5 attacking the knight and forcing white to play what he wanted to play. Knight takes on e6. Queen takes knight. White to move. g4 was played. Let's take it back. If rook to h3, then h5. Back to our game. So, g4 first. Black to move. This is the critical moment. Walbrot lost his nerves and played h5 as if white played rook to h3. Let's take it back. Bishop to e7 would offer a better resistance, but even then white is better after f4. Back to our game. h5. Well, this is a good move if white plays rook to h3. Rook to g1 was played. Let's take it back. If rook to h3 immediately, then queen takes on g4. And black is better. Back to our game. So we have rook to g1 first. h takes on g4. Rook takes on g4. Rook from a to c8. Bishop to f6. Bishop to e7. It is too late now. Rook to h3. Walbert played Bishop takes on f6. After playing this move, Walbert wanted to resign, but it was too late. Tarash already gave him a checkmate. What a brilliant attack by Zygmunt Tarash. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.